Crackers, crackers, big and small. Old or new, I love them all. Start her up and let her run. Watch those crackers get her done. Late at night or early morning, the field just planting corn. Watch those wheels go round and round, plowing up that fertile ground. Crackers, crackers, big and small. Old or new, I love them all. Start her up and let her run. Watch those crackers get her done. Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a review on my uncle's 1972 Ford in Ford Blue. 1972 Ford 2000 Utility Tractor, 3-cylinder gasser. So this particular tractor model was made from 1962 to 1975. It's known as a utility tractor. So it's not, it's a long ways from being just your standard garden tractor, but it's not quite an agricultural tractor. It's just your mid-level tractor. And its original price was $5,675. Well, because I can't remember anything, I gotta have my cheat sheet here, so bear with me. This little, it's a 2.6 liter, three cylinder. You could either get it, it's the same engine, 2.6, three cylinder, but what uh, made it different is you could get it in a gas or a diesel, but it made 37.5 horsepower, that is tested, and the PTO is 32.09 horsepower tested. On this three cylinder, 13 gallon fuel capacity, your fuel tank is right here, and a 6.3 gallon hydraulic capacity, and the hydraulic system ran at 2,500 PSI. So back here, obviously, we got a box blade hooked up at the moment, but this is your PTO shaft. Your PTO had an operating speed of 540 RPM, which is pretty good. That means it'll about knock through anything you got. And uh, it had very good gearing in low, first low. It would go nice and slow, and then it went all the way up to high, what is it, eight? Yeah, you had eight speeds in this thing with a two-speed uh, low and high. And uh, it'd go pretty fast, and it would also, the, th the problem with people had with the Ford N-Series tractors is the first gear was really high, and so I think it was just one, two, three, four, it didn't have low and high. And so first gear was too high, and you couldn't really go through a field, it would just rip it up and, and not, uh, it would just turn it up and not actually penetrate as you needed. Where with tractors like this, you have low and high speed, and low, you're just creeping along, and in high gear, you're going like the clappers as the Brits would say. This is an end model tractor. My uncle also has this. It works perfectly fine. It runs great. I think it's got a four cylinder in it. But uh, the, the reason he got, he retired this one is just because it wasn't quite doing what he needed to do. That's why he got that 72 model. But uh, this, this end series tractor, it for being as old as it is, I think it's like a 48, I believe. I mean, it runs great. It, no brakes, which, do you even really need them? I'm a little foggy on that rule. But anyway, I thought I'd show y'all because I was talking about it. So I might as well show you the, uh, and it's been converted to 12 volt. So here's uh, your standard gear shift. One, three, two, reverse, fourth. And then this little lever over here is your low and high. So you have your two speed, uh, we'll call it a transfer box probably going to get eaten alive on the YouTube comments and then this is your gear shift for your forward and reverse gears so the weight on this tractor ranged anywhere from 3770 pounds all the way up to 4100 pounds the 4100 pound tractors were most likely your diesel tractors because diesel engines weigh more and then your 3770 is most likely your gasoline and, you know, it just depends on whether you had weights on the front or what sort of tire setup you had and, you know, stuff like that. But your uh, lightest tractor was 3770 and your highest, your most heavy was 4100. My buddy Adam, go subscribe Built Tough 1776. My buddy Adam's probably already had 47 heart attacks about these tires. They're not quite drag slicks, but they're getting there. That's just, that lets you know you still, it's, it's ventilation. A safety feature so it's a negative ground 12 volt system 
and it also holds five quarts of oil. You can either run 10W30 with a ZDDP additive, which is your zinc additive, or you can run 1540 diesel oil. You want to run zinc, something with zinc because it's all flat tappet. So up front you got six lug steel wheels and in the back you got eight lug steel wheels. Let's crank it up and we'll move it around. What do you say? Check out this bumper. That's just the... Uh-oh. Updraft carburetor.
Tractors, tractors, big and small, old or new, I love them all. Start her up and let her run, watch those tractors get her done. Late at night or early morning, the field just planting corn.